They want to have kids in a traditional patriarchal model in order to essentially perpetuate the finest traditions of society as they see them. But at the same time, uh, they uh, see that things have changed since, say, their grandparents or even their parents tried to do the same. Mind you, a lot of these kids are probably the products of uh, broken homes, divorced ha households, so they uh, they likely don't uh, they want tradition, but they understand they live in a non traditional age. It's not that they're they have uh, blinders on inherently. But on that note, what they find out there now is that number one, there are less you know women willing to settle down early on to do the old traditional thing. Uh, but number two, it's harder and harder to get even a woman who's not uh, going to be walking down the runway with the rest of the models. And they despair over this. And they turn to people like pickup artists, such as Roosh used to be, and they spend a lot of money on this. And uh, other people who are not pickup artists tell them, all you have to do is hit the gym, uh, make some money, and I think dress well, and that's going to be it. That's the, the secret formula. But you can see men who do all three of those things, and they still wind up not uh, getting where they want to be uh, on the dating scene, and that just places them farther and farther away from wanting, not from wanting, but from actually having a family. Uh, and uh, that produces a lot of despair, and I think that makes a lot of these men actually angry toward women on the whole, which creates a very, very nasty situation. Uh, and this definitely is something I think of, uh, of, of speaks to the self-esteem problem within Western civilization. And I mean, there's more I could say here, but Luke, because uh, I've already said quite a lot, what are your thoughts on this? Yeah, the reason that people don't get what they want in life is because they're not helping other people get what they want. So if you lead a life where you're helping other people get what they want, then you're going to be rich and you're going to be popular and you're going to have prestige and you're going to have all sorts of friends. You're going to have an honored place in your community. You're going to have, have money and status and you're going to be able to na navigate re reality in an effective way and you're going to get married and in, in all likelihood you'll have kids. So people who aren't getting married is because they're not navigating life effectively if they, they want to be be married. So, and I'm talking here as a 53 year old bachelor. The reason that I have not married is because I was not navigating life in an effective manner. Prior to 2016, for example, I never earned over $45,000 a year. But if you navigate life effectively, meaning you get along with other people, right? People like you. If you have valuable skills, if you bring something to the table, Okay, if you do something valuable for your employer, if, if you develop a product, if you become a, a doctor, if, if you develop your, your medical practice or your dental practice, if, if you're moving ahead in your professional life, then the wife and kids things thing naturally follows. But if you are failing at, at real life, if you're working for $11 an hour, okay, if you have $300 in the bank, if you're still living at home, it's it's immensely tempting to to not look at yourself, but to instead think, oh, that you know the pickup artists, that they show the way. I'm going to devote myself to pickup, and then you you might become competent at picking up women who are equally damaged to you. But no decent woman is going to settle down with a guy making forty thousand dollars a year. Okay, you need to make in Los Angeles at least one hundred thousand dollars a year if you're going to. Uh -huh you know, pick, marry a, a decent woman. Like, why would she settle down with someone who's losing at life? Women don't like to settle down with men who are losing at life. Men don't like to face the fact that they're losing at life when they're losing at life. So they'd rather distract themselves with a million other things. They'd rather get into radical politics or get into uh, the pickup artist movement or the men going their own way movement or just use a lot of pornography or play, play a ton of video games. But uh, the real problem is looking at you in the mirror if you develop the skills okay you develop the mindset where you are a blessing to your employers and you bring something valuable to the to the table you will make in excess of six figures and the marriage and and the children will follow from that but if you can't get it up above six figures in an honorable way in a legal and honorable way then it's highly unlikely that any decent woman's going to want to throw in her lot with somebody who's failing at life but people would rather distract themselves from everything but their own failures at life. 
People would rather worry about politics. People would rather worry about religion. People would rather worry about pickup techniques. People would rather worry about, you know, the elite and, and uh, QAnon and uh, video games, anything to distract themselves from looking at themselves in the mirror and asking, you know, why am I losing at life? Why do people shy away from me? Why do people not welcome me when I walk into a room? Why am I earning $32,000 a year at age 37? Like, who wants to do that kind of work? Almost nobody wants to do that kind of work until the absolute misery of the way they are conducting themselves becomes so intolerable that the pain of changing then is less than the misery of persisting in a delusional approach to life that is just resulting in failure after failure after failure. If you get a, a medical degree, become a licensed doctor, if you pass the bar in California, the, the California bar is quite challenging. Okay, if you graduate in the top 10% of your law school and then you pass the bar, you will get picked up by a, a good law firm or you'll have the right stuff to go out and develop your own practice and you'll earn in excess of $100,000 a year and, and there will be women throwing themselves at you. If you're earning under $100,000 a year, a woman would be insane to want to, to link her fate with yours because you're failing at life and people would rather do anything than deal with the primary issue at hand, which is themselves. Pass. I, 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 it's interesting because there are, I think, guys out there who are, you know, they, they do everything right, as you mentioned. They're uh, the opposite of what you said not to be, uh, but they still have difficulty getting women. And I think this boils down, it could be something extreme like living in a small town and most uh, girls get knocked up in high school and then that becomes their lives. And obviously, if you're a successful guy, you probably don't want to raise another guy's child, especially if you're still in your 20s and then be saddled perhaps with the debts of that woman and the specter of the baby daddy uh, throughout your life. Totally understandable that you wouldn't want to go down that uh, treacherous road. Uh